Uh, I'm going to show you a headline. It's from the Wall Street Journal. Elon Musk's final straw. Hmm. It's about Speaker Pelosi pushing for a nationalization of blue state spending. Uh, let's bring the author of that piece onto the show, Dan Henninger, Wall Street Journal editorial page guy. Dan, explain this. What's the relationship between Pelosi's $3 trillion plan and Elon Musk? Well, Stuart, we do know that Elon Musk got very upset when uh, California authorities with Governor Gavin Newsom said he could not open his Tesla plant in Fremont, California. And so he tweeted that this was the final straw, meaning, obviously, that Elon Musk had had his problems before with California, which we know is a huge cost of doing business state. There are all sorts of environmental rules and Mickey Mouse and so forth that just make it very difficult for states and or companies in California to operate. Many have left. So Musk was saying this was just the final straw, saying he couldn't open his factory. Meanwhile, you've got Nancy Pelosi uh, proposing to send $1 trillion to the states, basically a bailout to states like California, New York, New Jersey, and Illinois, who have been spending like there's no tomorrow uh, for the last 20 or 30 years. How do they support that spending? By taxing their citizens, many of whom have fled those states. Pelosi is now suggesting that the federal government will basically ratify the blue state economic model of spending into affinity and never worrying where the money's going to come from. I mean, these bills she's passing, $3 trillion in total, pretend that federal taxpayers' money is sort of like monopoly money. But Stuart, most of the federal, most people out there in the country never voted for the levels of spending that exist in those four states. But now Nancy Pelosi is telling them, you are going to pay for it one way or another. Yes, you got that right, Dan. Thanks for joining us. As always, we will see you again very soon. Thank you, Dan.